Today I've got a few awesome stories to cover, and if I sound a little sick I do apologize, but I am. Either way, an A-Core Intel CPU was spotted. AMD is an update on the CTS Labs findings, Epic Games shows us ray tracing in real time, and AMD has deals. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. For those who don't eat, sleep, and breathe hardware news, you may have missed the leaked roadmaps a while back that detailed yet another upcoming chipset by Intel, the Z390. I know what you're thinking. The Z370 should be the creme de la creme of mainstream Intel boards, but it doesn't seem to be. First, we saw the leaked roadmaps claiming the Z390 would launch sometime in the second half of 2018. Then the board itself leaked on SciSoft's database. Then a Eurocom rep replied on the notebook review forums with their plan to skip the Z370 on their Tornado F5 for the Z390 that supports 8 cores and 16 threads. Whether the 370 also supports the supposed 8 core CPU is still kind of up in the air, well, if it exists, but I don't think it would make too much sense to release the Z390 chipset if it did. Either way, this leads us to today. An unrecognized Intel CPU was found on the 3D Mark database. The CPU was sporting 8 cores and 16 threads, and is assumed to be this upcoming chip to go 101 in cores with AMD. While it could be yet another 14 nanometer refresh, we really don't know. It was clocked at only 2.2 GHz, but I'd assume that's the base frequency or simply not important with it just being a dev sample. Of course, there's probably some big overclocking potential with the right cooler either way. Next up for today, we've got an update from AMD on the supposed flaws found by CTS Labs regarding Ryzen and Epic. Apparently the vulnerabilities are real, but as stated in previous videos, they aren't a huge issue since they require administrative access to utilize. The biggest problem is that they affect AMD's secure chips, plus some are undetectable and can survive reboot. Luckily, AMD states that mitigation will only require a BIOS update, and none of them appear to cause any performance hits. They don't say when these new BIOS updates will go live, but make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when that does happen. For today's next story, Epic Games just released a trailer that demonstrates on the Unreal Engine what I discussed in my last video, real-time ray tracing. And holy crap, does it look amazing. If you want to see the full video, I'll have that linked in the description. Lastly, if you're looking to pick up one of AMD's current generation Ryzen CPUs, now's a great time to do it, as retailers have just cut prices drastically on the already cut prices on most of their Ryzen and Threadripper lineup. For anyone interested, I will have affiliate links down in the description so you can pick these up, and you probably want to jump on them pretty fast as they still seem to be fluctuating. Like the Ryzen 1200 was 94 but is back up to 108, or the 1700 was 275 but is now 279, though that's still way better than the 299 we've been seeing. Many are also still heavily discounted. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? Ready for a mainstream 8-core Intel CPU, or would you rather pick up a well-priced Ryzen chip? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, have a great day.